Hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to change your home wireless password. When the technician come to our home and installs the router for the environment in our home, or when we receive the router and do the basic installation, actually what is installed is the basic configuration that comes from the factory. Here in this sticker, usually located in the back of your router, you can see all the info you need to get your computer connected to the internet through your wireless router. Although this is okay, it is still not the best and safe configuration. We need to change that. To do so, we need to have access to the setting inside our router. To access our router we're going to do the following. We're going to access the router via IP address. All routers have its own IP address. You have to find out what's your router IP address. You can find your router's IP address via command prompt. To access the command prompt click start and type cmd. The command prompt will open. Now you type the following. IP config. Your router's IP address will be the default gateway. Mine is this one here. Now go to your internet browser and type these numbers. Hit enter. You're going to need your system password, it's located in the back of your router. Now you are inside your router's software configuration. Look for the word wireless. Down here you're going to see two options for the password key. Use default wireless network key printed on the system label. And Use custom wireless network key. Click this option and enter your wireless password key. Hit save and you are done. Now if you wanted to go even further in protecting your wireless network, go right here where it says SSID broadcast and disable it. This will not stop your wireless broadcast it will simply stop showing your wireless name so nobody in the surrounding areas will be able to see your network. You see here all these wireless network, these are all configured with default security setting. Be smarter than your neighbors and configure your network to be fully protected against any malicious attack. But remember to connect a new computer you will have to enter the wireless SSID, I mean, your wireless name and then the password. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.